Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia, here, and I'm back with another bonus that read. This reading is going to be for the sign of um, Gemini. The topic of the reading is, have you met your life partner? If you are in a situation where you really uh, wonder at time, have you met your life partner or you are yet to meet that person, uh, then this reading will definitely help you know the answer to that. Um, we will be taking some charms as well to give you additional guidance about their alphabets or something like that as well. Uh, we might take cards to see their nature or feature as well. So stay tuned. And now, uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that uh, resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well. So, Gemini's, let's see. Have you met your life partner already? Yes or no? Maybe you are in separation with that person. Maybe you are already with that person right now, currently. Maybe it is uh, somebody who has to come and uh, express their love. Maybe they are, like, you know, crushing on you right now. But let's find out. Have you met your life partner already? Yes or no? Let's begin. <clears throat> we do have eight of swords, three of pentacles, eight of cups, ten of cups, six of swords, ace of cups, seven of wands, and temperance. And in the deck, we do have king of pentacles. I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, you haven't met the one already. I feel like, you know, you have always been thinking of a specific someone to be the one that you're designed to be with in actuality that's not the one um i feel like you know there is a current situation that you are in right now uh which is keeping you stuck which is keeping you blocked which is keeping you like you know as if uh you know it is going to work out well for you but i don't see that connection working well for you uh even if it is a someone someone from a past that you're waiting for to to give into the connection to invest into the connection and you know be the one for you and all those things i feel like you know you have to basically walk away from that um you have been you might have been through a lot in your love already and i feel like you know um you got to uh stop trusting people uh around you know when they when they tell you like you know we will see we will make it happen this and that if it is not happening right now in flow it's not gonna work out well for you for, uh, because i feel like you know because you might have dealt with those energies so many times that you you will subconsciously uh, subconsciously you are not gonna be like you know align something uh you know slow uh moving um into your love life to work out you want somebody who can enter in your life and make things happen and that's there you go you want somebody in your life right now who makes it so quick you know who doesn't take time who doesn't need time to decide who doesn't need time to you know um you know see how it goes and all those things you want it to be quick because i feel like you know because of the mental blocks that you have uh, kind of you know um created around it because of the ways things have happened in your love life already I don't think that anything like that is going to work out well for you. Um, a connection that you're waiting for, a connection that you are still in, and a connection that is going to happen, which is going to be like, we will see, and now, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, let's uh, go with the flow and stuff like that. It's not going to work out well for you. I feel like a connection, which is going to be quick, which is going to come in as a proposal, which is going to be like love at first sight, that's going to work well for you. You are going to get married to a person. You are going to end up with a person who is going to come in your life very quickly and that's how you take things to the next level and have a married life with that person i don't see that it's going to be where, where you know a long uh, relationship before you get married to each other i don't see that it would be more than a month time where you would know each other before you get married to each other so i feel like you know if you are dealing with someone right now or if your love life had been like you know so delayed and everything it's not going to be the thing for you something which is going to be quick 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 is going to work out for you so that person who is going to enter in your life and then you know things are moving very fast will work out for you um and i feel like you know this this uh, this uh, connection this person which i do see coming towards you might come in through travel through people uh, uh when i say people it can be your work colleagues it can be uh you know somebody that you would be traveling with it can be like you know your office trip it can be something like that it can come through um you know uh it, it, it is going to come unexpectedly it's not going to be something that uh, that uh, you would be like you know expecting out of it so i feel like you know it's, it's yet to enter in your life and the ones that you are with already 
I don't see those connections working out for you. I feel like, you know, you will ultimately walk away from those connections because you would start feeling annoyed with that. And I feel like, you know, the time that you are going to give up on any slow moving energies in your love life and you would choose to walk away and choose to let a person in your life who's so sure about you that they would not need more time nor they would waste your time you're going to choose somebody like that now um even if you are in a connection maybe it's getting toxic because of uh, the slow moving energies again there could be a lot of people influence coming as well now i feel like you know for majority of you you have suffered a lot in your love life because of the same reason people's involving into it uh, you know the connection your person not taking things next level delays and all the blocks and everything you have been there you have seen it all and you have dealt with all and now you're so fucked up with all of that you don't want it so i do see you walking away from anything that has been happening in your love life lately and you are going to choose to choose happiness you're going to choose to you know, have the harmony from within around your love life. You don't want any connection, which is like, you know, going to take ages to move to the next level. So I feel like, you know, it's, um, you would feel like, you know, I'm ready and prepared to have that one person. You would, you are not going to be like, you know, choosing to wait and wait and wait and be patient. You would not want to do that. So I feel like, you know, a person is yet to enter in your life who is going to be your husband or your wife. Um, and I feel like, you know, this person is going to come in your life when you are least expecting it because you are walking away from love life situations that you might have been dealing with earlier, uh, which kind of you know, kept you stuck for so long in your love life. I feel like you know, it's going to come in as, a, as an unexpected thing for you. Let's see some uh, uh, nature or future cards. Let's see how this person is going to be uh, look wise or uh, nature wise. Let's see how this person is going to be, where it is that you are destined to end up with knowledgeable experience fair minded unemotional it can be you it can be them as well um this person would be uh somebody who's very professional uh somebody who could be into um you know public speaking and all um this person uh might have been through unemotional relationships uh, which can mean uh, they might have been like, you know, never involved in any emotional relationship. Maybe they have been through a lot as you have been through a lot and maybe they are keeping their distant, uh, distance maintained from people now. They are very unemotional to people now because they have been through a lot. So for some of you, you could be dealing with another Gemini as well as, uh, as uh, I'm picking up the same experience that they uh, that you had. Maybe they also had the same kind of experience there. But when you guys come together, it is going to click, you know, like I said, it's going to be so quick because it will be clicked because it's going to be like, you know, wow, like, you know, finally you have met the soulmate, you have met the one. Um, I feel like, you know, it's a, maybe you have chosen or you will be choosing in, in coming days to weeks time that I don't want a shitty relationship now. That person has already decided that for themselves. And what happens is when you come together, be that through travel, be that through meetings, be that through, you know, people's interference, maybe, you know, you are being set on a, a blind date by your friend or something. But whatever happens, it's going to make you feel like, oh my God, you know, I really like this person. This person seems like, you know, um, I've been waiting all my life for this person. So it's going to be that kind of a thing. I feel like, you know, they have also been like, you know, uh, distant from, uh, you know, people because they don't want to get involved. They don't want to get hurt again. So when the two of you come together, it's going to be like, wow, like, you know, that's how it is going to be. Let's see more about them. Um, there are there, there, there is a lot of discontentment in their life right now. I feel like, again, I feel like it's more like you. Uh, maybe you are marrying each other right now. You want this kind of connection that they want as well. And um, they, they, they don't want to get distracted by you know all uh, these kind of issues are uh, coming in love life where you know you you see where it goes and stuff like that they feel that they are worthy of something stable something beautiful something magical and they are waiting for that magical opportunity in their love life right now they don't want to settle in for anything less than that so i feel like you know this person is really really uh exactly where you are in your life uh, and i feel like you know that's how it is uh it is going to work out for the two of you because you both want the same kind of uh, situation in your love life so um let's see some more cards here <clears throat> let's see the nature of the feature of your person Gemini's. eyes so we do have childish non-serious flirtatious non-committal indecisive unstable um it can be you it can be them um and if it was you or if, if it was them 
I feel like you know this is the how they were and now they have changed like maybe maybe uh for both of you maybe you are in that age of your life where you have been there you have done it all um and I feel like you know they they want something different now subtle features quite modest mysterious wise uh counselor innovative so I feel like you know you might have been there done it all kind of a you know situation you know where, where you you might have a um being the childish one non-serious one now for some of you maybe your person acts to be like you know fun and all those things maybe you act fun and all of that but at the same time um you 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 feel so non-committal right now because you don't want to be in, in any shitty relationship as well and that could be the same energy for your person as well uh where they also don't want to settle in for anything like that so let's see what else says uh, you know uh about your person let's see what else do we have about your person? So we do have this one. Wow. I think that's good enough. So let's see. Love talking to you. This person is going to love talking to you. Um, you told me on like anything. This person is going to find you very fiery hot as well and attractive as well. I am super possessive about you. This person would be very super possessive about you. I need you tonight. There will be a lot of fiery energy coming up with this person. March 3, for some of you, March 3 is going to be significant for this connection. Um, uh, I want to kiss you. There is going to be a lot of passion coming in with this person as well. But again, I feel like it's not going to be just a sexual passion. It's going to be more about, you know, this person is going to be possessive about you. Um... This person is going to find you um, so attractive uh, with Queen of Swords and uh, sorry Queen of uh, Wands and Seven of uh, Swords. I feel like you know you will be very resistant to um, to let love in your life, but then this person comes in and that's how you are going to gel along well. Um, I feel like you know you might have like I said earlier. I feel like you know you're really wishing uh, to meet the uh, your divine counterpart, and so are they. Um, alphabets we have H. Q, Z, Y, V, K, U, and another U. Um, I feel like you know there is uh, there will be like a lot of uh, you know cutting ties that's gonna happen before you meet the one, uh, because um, again for some of you, you might be traveling and uh, that's how you are going to meet. Again, we do have that uh, uh, you know sign of uh, travel again. Um, I feel like, you know, your love life is going to be smooth after you walk away from the old pattern of uh, relationships that you've been having. And uh, you will be spending a lot of quiet time, alone time before you meet this person is what I'm picking up. Um, and it's going to be very emotional and very fulfilling journey for you. Um, and I feel like, you know, you are not giving up on your desire about love. It's just that you are not giving into any relationship which is shitty and which is not fulfilling. Um no matter where so for what, uh, feels like you know you, for majority of you you're gonna meet this person uh out of nowhere <laughs> and um i love you there is going to be a lot of uh, love and this person is going to wash away all your fears doubts about love relationships marriage commitment this person is going to be like um you know it's, it's going to be more of a mutual thing uh, when you meet this person, everything else is going to be like, you know, washed away. You would understand why things never worked out for you before because this is the one that you're designed to be with. And uh, you were, you were you know, bound to meet this person. And that's why nothing worked for you before this person. So, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it helped you and, uh, um, you know, anyway... Do like, share and subscribe till I do the next week for you guys. Take care and bye.